Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have this nice math problem before us. Let's solve this question together and see what x gives us an n. So here we take friction. All right. So this question here we have this radical here. The question is nine into the x root of 4 plus 8 into the x root of 9 equal to 22 into the x root of 6. What is the value of x here? So we all know that the root, or let's take n root of b, this is equal to b to the power of 1 on over n, right? So we can rewrite the expression we have here. So this now implies that our 9 into 4 into 1 to the power of x there plus our 8 into um, 9 or to the power of 1 all over x equal to 22 into our 6 or to the power of 1 all over x. Okay, so these have not changed anything. Then look at the power we have here, this and this. We want to divide to eliminate this 9 to the power of x here. Okay, so we're going to divide this by um, 9 to the power of 1 all over x. We divide this by 9 or to the power of 1 all over x. Then we divide this by 9 or to the power of 1 all over x also. All right, so we can rewrite what we have here. This, this will leave and rewrite this also. Why? Because this and this, they are having the same exponent. So this will not end up giving out bracket here for all of our, our 9 or to the power of 1 all over x that plugs our 8 equal to 22 into 6 all over 9 or to the power of 1 all over x. Okay, now something is common to this and this. 3 are going to 6 to give us 2 and 3 are going to um, 9 to give us 3. Yeah. Or can be written as 2 to the power of 2, and 9 can be written as 3 to the power of 2. And so we can end up writing this as our 9 into our 2 to the power of 2, all over 3 to the power of 2, or raised to 1 all over x, then plugs our 8 equals to our 22. We use uh, 3 to divide this, then we'll end up having a 2 all over, here we have 3, was bracket out of the power of our 1 all over x. We want to bring out the power here because two of them are having the same power. So this could be written as our 9 here into here we're going to have 2 all over 3 plus bracket out of the power of 2 or into our 1 all over x plus 8 is equal to 22 bracket our 2 all over 3 close bracket into the power of 1 all over x. Right? Let's continue on this side here. Okay, so what we do next here is easy. Now we're going to apply a law whereby we can interchange the exponent here. Okay, we can take this in and bring this out. Why? Because we are having dx 2 all over 3 all to the power of 1 all over x. So let's bring this out and take this in. According to the law of indices, which says that if you have your a to the power of m n, this is equal to your a to the power of m there, or to the power of n, equal to your a to the power of n, bracket your m. Okay, so if we succumb to um, this law, then we can rewrite everything we have here, right? So this is going to give us here my into 1 all over, sorry, uh, 2, right? So we have here 2 all over 3 to the power of 1 all over x into the square bracket of our 2 plus 8. This is equal to 22 into um, our 1 all over, uh, sorry, uh, 2 all over 3 to the power of 1 all over x. Easy. So with this, what we do here is easy. We discover that what we have in the bracket are the same. So we can do a simple substitution here. So we can just see, let um, this time, let's take uh, our p, let p be equal to our 2 all over 3 or to the power of 1 all over 
x. So if we do that, this will give us 9p to the power of 2 plus 8 equals to 22p. Okay, move this to this side of the equation. It will give us 9p to the power of 2 minus 22p, the plus our 8 equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation, and we can solve this um, by using the factorization method, right? Yeah, we use 9 to times 8, and 9 times 8, that will give us uh, 72. So we look for, among the factors of 72, that we would divide, um, sorry, we add, we give us minus 22, and multiply, we give us plus 72. And that will give us um, 4 and 18. Okay, all right, so we can rewrite this middle term as our 9 to the power of 2 minus 4p minus 18p, the plus 8 equals to 0. So we put this in bracket, we call it put this in bracket. What is common here is just p, so we have here p bracket, here we're left with um, a 9p, the minus, here we have 4 close bracket, minus, what is common here is uh, 2, so we have 2 into, um, 2 into this will give us a 9p, the minus times plus will give us minus, the 2 into 8 will give us 4, then here, close our bracket, everything equal to 0. So you discover what we have in the two brackets at the same, so we can take this and this out, and take one of these, yeah, so we're going to have here, p, the minus 2, close bracket, the bracket, our 9p minus 4 equal to 0. So remember the law again, which says that if you have your, um, if you have a uh, times b equal to 0, this implies that we have our a is equal to 0, or b is equal to 0. Okay? So if we succumb to this law here, then what happened? We can equate this to zero, equate this to zero. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the ball. All right, so from here, we're going to have our first case, our first instance, which is uh, P minus two is equals to zero. Uh, we have our nine, nine P minus uh, four equal to zero. <coughs> so here we have P is equals to two. Then here we have um, nine P is equals to four which we turn, give us here, p is equal to 4 all over 9. Okay, so we have this and this. So we recall, when we say let p be equal to a 2 all over 3, all raised to the power of 1, all over x, and so we take our case 1, because here we want to get the actual value for our x now. So our case 1, we're taking this. So this is going to give us here, so we have when our p, this p1 is equal to 2, we know that 2 all over 3, all to the power of 1, all over x, is equal to what we have here. So what we use um, in solving this is easy. We can take logarithm to base 10, or we can take ln base e. But le uh, let's use uh, the ln base e here. So I want to ln both sides of the equation. So this is going to give us here yeah, ln of brackets 2 all over 3, all to the power of 1, all over x, right? equals to the ln of 2. Okay, according to the law of the logarithm, we say that if you have log your p to the power of m, move this exponent back here to give us here m into our log our p. Remember this law? So we want to move the whole of this exponent back here. So this is going to give us 1 all over x, the ln of 2 all over 3, close bracket, equals to ln of 2. Easy. So we're looking for S, so we want to eliminate this. So we divide both sides by ln of 2 all over 3, close bracket. We do the same thing here, ln of 2 all over 3. This leaves the system, so we're left with what? 1 all over x. So let's continue on this side of the board again. So from here, we'll have our next step to be um, 1 all over x will now be equal to, here we have ln of 2 all over. Now, according to the law of logarithm again, look at this guy here. We can rewrite it. The law of that if you have um, log 
your m all over n, this is equal to your log m, then minus log n. Remember this law? So we can apply it to the denominator to give us here log uh, 2 minus sorry, ln of 3. Okay? Good. So we find the reciprocal of both sides because we are not looking for 1 all over x, we are looking for x. So this will now give us here x will now be equal to ln of 2 minus ln of 3 all over ln of 2. You can simplify this down in a very easy way. Okay, so we're going to have here x is equal to ln of 2 all over ln of 2. Okay, then minus ln of 3 all over the ln of um, 2 also. Okay, so this, this leave the system to give us one year. So we therefore have our x will now be equal to 1 minus ln of 3 all over ln of 2. This is our x1. Okay. Well, oh, sorry. Okay. So we have. Right. So we take our case two. What is our case two? We have our, our p. Okay. This is our case two. We have our p is equal to 4 all over 9. So we have your case two. Case two is a bit easier or simpler. So we know that our 2 all over our 3 or to the power of 1 all over x will now be equal to our p2. Where's our p2? Our p2 said is 4 all over 9. Okay, so we just simply put here 4 all over 9. 4 all over 9 could be written as 2 all over 3 all to the power of 2. Okay, so this 2 all over 3 all to the power of 2. So what you discover, the basis are the same. So we can equip the exponent. So this, this leave the system, we now have 1 all over x is equal to 2. What are we looking for? We are looking for s. So we find the s on both sides. So we will have our x2 is equal to our 1 all over 2. 1 all over 2 is our x2 from our challenge. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, if you look at the first one, x1, if you find the uh, numerical value of this and substitute that into the expression, you're going to have an approximate value. But our x2 will give us um, the actual value to this. So we're going to do a little check on our x2 here. So let's do a check on s2 on this other side. All right, so we want to put this s2 into this equation and see if it will give us the right answer. So we're going to have here, this now implies our um, my, right? Then into our one all over two, so four, right? The plus our eight into um, the half root of nine equal to twenty two into the half root of um, six close bracket. Okay, so we can rewrite this as our nine into a four all to the power of one all over one all over two. Okay, and this is power, please. The plus uh, plus our 8 there into our 9 out to the power of 1 all over 1 all over 2 there equal to 22 bracket our 6 out to the power of 1 all over 1 all over 2. Okay, now if we carry out the simplification here and the simplification here and the simplification here, this, this will leave the system. So here we're going to end up having 9 there times 4 to the power of 2 there plus 8 times my to the power of 2 equals to 22 times 6, or uh, 6, or not 16, 6 uh, to the power of 2. Okay, so let's put this in bracket. Okay, wow. So we have here my times, here we're going to have 16, that plus, here we're going to have 8 times 8 to 1, then here we're going to have 22 times 36. Easy. So let's multiply and see what this gives us. This times this will give us some um, 144. So we have 144 plus uh, 8 times 8, 1 will give us a, uh, here we have 8, here we have um, 6, 4, 8. 6, 4, 8. Then 
then this that this will give us um uh um, this will give us um seven nine two so we have seven nine two okay so we can add up this now so this plus this will give us two here then this this will give us um eight nine then this this will give us seven nine two so it's equal to seven nine two so we discover that our x2 equal to one all over two satisfy the original equation yeah uh, like i said our x1 will give us an approximate value okay so this brings us to the end of this math challenge however simple it might be and um uh, you last something from this video then give the video a thumbs up you have a better way of solving this challenge because time then drop it in the comment section we are there to uh, reply to your comment again this is all i mass tv if you've not subscribed subscribe because you are the reason for the existence of this channel keep winning until we meet you in our next class bye for now